Hey everyone, today it is gorgeous outside. It's 70 degrees, it's sunny. Couldn't ask for better weather. I've got three boxes right here uh, from a company called Hot Ash. They sent me their three-in-one smokeless fire pit grill and pizza oven. I'm gonna break it out, unbox it, see what's inside, set it up, give it a test drive, cook some burgers, some pizza, and see how it performs, all right? So let's get to it. All right, these guys are marked, these boxes one, two, and three. So let's open them in order, all right? Oops. <laughs> you hear that? All right. All right. Nice. So this must be the pizza oven. And this is the quarterite pizza stone. <laughs> and it's intact. Good. Sometimes these things show up and the stone is broken. Somehow it happened in shipping, but this is in this is in one piece, and it's pretty thick. It's like a half inch, so that's a good. This is a good heavy stone, nicely packed. That's for sure. They've got a lot of padding in this box. And, wow, yeah, it is heavy. Yeah, I got a gauge here, so we can check temperature, oven temperature. It's nice, and then you know, flip it around. Got the hot ash. This is a, like a laser cut. We'll flip it around. You can see the, this is where the pizzas go in. It looks like, I don't know what the, sort of this bent metal is on the side here. It looks purposeful, but I'm not sure what that, what that's about. But anyways, this looks cool. Let's move on to the next, the next piece. We'll put this aside. All right, we're on to box number two of three here. And this must be the, yeah, this is, this looks like the grill unit. See the handles here? That's pretty slick. Those are nice. And this is, uh, well, I guess this is the base, maybe. It looks like it's two pieces, yeah, okay. This actually looks like the top, the dome to the grill, and this is the base unit that the fire pit stacks on top of. I don't know, it, it might make more sense when we start putting it together. But yeah, this is uh, it's pretty sweet. All right, let's get this out of here. All right, third and final box. And this looks like the fire pit. Oops. What do we got here? Hot ash stove, play with fire. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that. I got some fireproof gloves. Sweet. I like that. Digging those. Those are sexy. All right, and obviously we have all of our paperwork. We got the, the stop, read the instructions before you, you operate the unit. <laughs> and a thank you from Hot Ash. And then the instruction and assembly manual. But uh, we don't need that, do we? This looks like this is the, the inside of the fire pit. This goes at the bottom of the fire pit. And just be careful, guys. Some of this metal is pretty sharp. You can cut yourself pretty easily, but nonetheless, it's, it's nicely constructed. It feels well made. All right, let's, uh, let me get this out of the box and we'll just assemble everything right here and fire it up, give it a test ride, all right? Well, it's leaf blowing season around here, so don't be surprised if you hear a bunch of leaf blowers going, maybe a lawnmower or two, because that's what everybody's doing right now. Anyways, we've got things set up, um, or laid out rather. I've got the base over here, the base to the unit. If you wanna make a fire, you'd put the fire pit on top of the base, build your fire, okay? If you wanna do some cooking, or grilling rather, you would put this collar on right here, okay? That goes on top of the fire pit, and then the grill goes on top of the collar. If you need to use the top to the grill for any reason, you've got that as well with a nice wooden handle. If you wanna make pizzas, you take the grill top off of the collar and the top of the grill, if you're using that, and replace it with this pizza oven right here. Okay, that goes on top of the collar, the main collar. And that's it. So let's do some cooking, give it a test ride, and see how things turn out. These aren't terribly heavy, but they have a little weight to them. There we go. This piece just goes in and settles in like, like so. Nice. God, leaf blowers are killing me, man. Next, we're gonna drop some kindling in just to the bottom of the pit and put some small pieces of wood down in here and just crisscross them like that. All right, and just grab a couple larger pieces of wood and put them on top like that. Now it's time to light the fire light this tinder. Okay, I think we're good, that should catch. 
This fire's been rolling pretty good. It's been going now for about five or 10 minutes and uh, the fire pit's putting a lot of heat out. It's nice. I feel it more when I'm standing up as opposed to when I'm sitting down like this. Uh, I don't know if the pit can operate off of its base. That might help with people sitting and getting some heat. But uh, nonetheless, it's doing its job. It's putting out heat and it feels really good. Um, we're gonna let the heat die down a little bit here. Then we'll slap the grill on and make some burgers. This fire's still rolling just a little bit hard in order to grill anything. But I'm gonna throw that collar on and the grill top just to preheat it before we cook any burgers. All right, we got a nice uh, even bed of charcoal down there. The wood's burned down, it's all coal at this point. Well, not coal, but you know what I mean. All right, it wasn't super hot in there, so we had to throw a few more logs on. There we go, that's got some nice color, huh? Let's toast the brioche buns real quick. Shouldn't take but 10 seconds. Yeah. That's good. Now we're just gonna lay some American cheese on there and I'm gonna dome it to melt the cheese. Just like that. Yeah, it looks nice. Just pull it. I just slide the burger onto the bun. Let's dress it with some delicious goodies. How about that? We'll do uh, some onions. Like that, a little bit of shredded lettuce. Beautiful. Okay, let's add some pickles, just a few. There we go, three, that's good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of ranch dressing to my bun. Just like that. Let's cut it open. <laughs> How do you like your burger? Looks nice, nice healthy medium. All right, moment of truth. Mm. Mm. That was delicious. I get a little bit of, get a little taste of the, the flame, the flame cooking there, flame grilling, wood cooking, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it's delicious. Mm. Nice and juicy, lots of flavor, awesome. Let's throw the pizza oven on top and cook a pizza and see how they turn out. All right, I'm gonna pull the grill, all right? Oh, with these gloves, these things, are, these things are awesome, by the way. And I'm gonna drop the pizza oven on top of the collar and we're gonna preheat the stone, just like that. So I'm gonna do a little thin crust action for you guys. Put some flour on the board. Come on, boy, get out of there. There we go. And for thin crust, the one thing you need, in my opinion, you don't have to use one, is a rolling pin. The dough that I used for this recipe is uh, my New York style pizza dough. And I'll link to that video in the upper right hand side of this video. But I'm making thin crust pizza with it today. There, that's a pretty good size for a thin crust. Yeah. A little bit of sauce. This is my, uh, my cooked pizza sauce recipe. I will put a link to that as well in the upper right hand side of this video. I need a bigger spoon for this, I really do. Gotta drop that in the shopping cart. Some mozzarella cheese. This is full fat mozz. It's uh, partially dried. Mozz, not fresh mozz, all right? Yeah, you guys might be a little scared of this, but it's okay, I'm used to it. <laughs> it's stretchy stretch. Almost forgot the Parmigiano. There. Beautiful. All right, oven temp's about 6, 650. <sighs> Slide this baby in there and see how she turns out. Guys, just to let you know, the pizza oven portion of the Rambler, that was actually damaged in shipping back in November. This is a new unit. They sent it to me uh, in December, but we had some really crappy weather for the past couple of months. Now it's March. Hey, how you doing? Um, and I'm making pizzas for you. So um, just wanted to give you the heads up in case you noticed maybe my different pants. I am still wearing the same sweatshirt and the hat though. All right. Uh, she's dropped a little bit, close to 600 now. Here, I'm gonna take this pizza out and give it a spin. Yeah. Ooh, almost done, very close. 
Yeah. I'm gonna top this pizza on the, place it up toward the top of the, the oven. All right. Oh, I think I just touched the top. Whoops. Check that out. Ooh, super crispy. Nice. All right. We should cut into it. Give it a little taste. See how crispy it is. Oh yeah, that's crispy. Not pretty, but crispy. All right, birds, quiet down. Quiet down now. Yeah. What do you think? Looks pretty good underneath. Nice and crispy. Brown nicely. Let's taste. Oh, hell yeah. That's nice and crispy. Listen to this. Ready? Can you hear that? You know, I had pepperoni and I totally forgot to put it on the pizza. We'll do that next time. This is really, really good. Tasty. All right, guys, I made a roaring fire. We flipped some burgers and we made pizza on this Rambler. And I gotta say, I've really enjoyed using this piece of equipment and I'm gonna cook more on it in the future. So keep an eye out for more videos of me using the hot ash. And thanks to Hot Ash for sending me the Rambler. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time.